All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 15. We're going to continue subtracting using that standard algorithm uh, with some three-digit minuends, so like 128 minus 43. Um, this lesson, Lesson 15, is a whole lot like Lesson 14. So um, as teachers, this shouldn't be a particularly confusing lesson. And I think parents largely as well will say, hey, this is a whole lot like Lesson 14. So let's get started. All right, and in this problem, we are told to solve each problem using the vertical method. And then we're going to use um, the place value chart. Uh, now, it says to use chips, but no, we're going to use dots. We're going to use those, um, just drawing the dots rather than actually using those chips to verify our answer. So let's get started. So we're going to have 153, and we're going to subtract 38. And teachers and parents, uh, make sure that the students are properly lining up the ones place with the ones place, and the tens place with the tens place, and then the hundreds place with nothing. All right, because uh, we want to make sure they're they're lining it up correctly. Because a lot of times students will want to put uh, have everything lined aligned to the left rather than aligned to the right. So be aware of that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to think about the these ones place, and we're going to say uh, we're going to ask ourselves if we're going to need to unbundle. And the answer is, yeah, we need to unbundle on this problem because we only have three ones, and we're supposed to take away eight. So we're going to take a 10 and cash it in for 10 ones. So that's going to leave us with four tens. And instead of, instead of having three ones, we will now have 13 ones because we are going to unbundle a 10 for 10 ones. So now we have 13 minus 8. So probably we're going to count up. We're going to start with 8 and go 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the answer is 5. And now we're going to look at the tens place. We have four tens. Take away three tens. We don't need to unbundle. We're just going to have one ten left over. And then looking at the hundreds place, one hundred, take away no hundreds, leaves one hundred. So our answer is 115, but let's verify that using the place value chart over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to model 153. So there's 100, and then we need five tens, and then we need three ones. So there's our 153, and now we're going to subtract 38. So the first thing we need to know is we need to take away eight ones. There's their eight ones that we're going to take away which means we're going to have to do some unbundling because right now we only have three ones. So I'm going to take one of these tens and cash it in for ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we can take away our eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, leaving us with five ones left over. Now this ten is gone because he got cashed in for ten ones. So we currently have four tens, and our problem says we're supposed to take away three tens. So we're going to take away three tens. One, two, three, and that leaves us with one ten left over. And then our problem doesn't say to take away any hundreds, so we're going to be left with the one hundred that we already had, and there's our answer, 115. That's exactly what we knew the answer should be all along. So let's practice real quick one more problem. We're going to first write it vertically, 182 minus 59, and we're going to look at our ones place, and sure enough, we only have two, but we need to take away nine, so we're going to have to do some unbundling here. So I'm going to take away a ten. I'm going to take one of those tens, leaving us with seven tens, and cash that ten in for ten ones. 
which means now we're going to have 12 ones. And so now we could do 12 minus 9, that gives us 3. 7 minus 5 gives us 2. And 1 minus nothing gives us 1. So their answer is 123. That's kind of a cool number, 1, 2, 3. Well, let's model it just to be sure that we're, we've done it correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is model 182. I'm going to write it over here. 182 minus 59. Uh, just to, I don't know, make it easier. So the first thing we're going to do is model 182. So there's 1, 100. Now let's model the 80. So we're going to do 8 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's our 8 tens. And then we're going to model two ones. So there's our 182. And now we're going to subtract five tens and nine ones. But let's begin by subtracting our nine ones first. And we can see that we don't have enough ones to take away nine of them. So we are going to unbundle. We're going to take one of these tens and unbundle him and get ten ones. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's gone because we've unbundled him for 10 ones. And now we're ready to subtract. And so we can subtract 9 ones because now we have enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that leaves us with three ones left over. And now it says take away five tens. And we, we have enough tens to take away five tens. So we're going to take away five. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So we have two tens left over. And then it says take away nothing. So take away nothing leaves us with 100. So our answer is 123. And that's um, verification, because that's exactly what we had earlier. Now I'm, I'm including this problem because it's about error analysis. And the idea is we want students to learn not only from their own mistakes, but from the mistakes of others. And uh, that's actually a good learning tool. So what we've got here is Lisa is solving 166 minus 48 vertically and she's using our place value chart and we're supposed to figure out what did she do correctly and what did she do incorrectly that she needs to fix. So the first thing I'm going to do, I suppose, is I'm going to look to make sure she modeled 166 correctly over here. So there's our 100. Now six tens. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This one's kind of been crossed off, but she modeled that correctly. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So she modeled 166 correctly. So let's keep going. So I can put down here, what did she do correctly? She correctly modeled it. Modeled the problem. We might find other things that she did correctly. So now we can see that we have 6, take away 8. So she has to do some unbundling. So over here, she takes one of our 10s and caches it in for 10 ones. She does that correctly, so we could write that down here. She correctly unbundled. And now the question says to take away 8. So let's make sure she took away 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. Yep, she took away eight, leaving us with eight left over. So, and that's exactly what we have here. So we're good so far. And now, um, in our tens place, we used to have six, but we unbundled this guy. So now we only have five, and that's correct over here. Now this says five take away four is zero. What? No, that ain't. That isn't right. 5 take away 4 is not 0. 5 take away 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is 1. So there's our mistake. 
So what does she need to fix? She needs to fix the tens subtraction because she got zero and it should be a one right there. And so we can see the answer is 100, 10, and 8. So it's 118 is the proper answer, not 108. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 15, where we're really representing subtraction using that standard algorithm, although we're using the place value chart as backup to verify our answers.